Welcome back to Utah. As you can tell, we are now number seven, so... But yeah, we had two bye weeks in a row, and I completely forgot about that, so I simped through both, and we are number seven now. Also, we did get one great thing going in, coming out of the bye week, that is. Our first commitment, a Juco transfer, two-star, 82 tight end, but 73 overall. The lead singer of Queen now, Adam Lambert. After coming off of a victory against, uh, you know, Penn State in their whiteout, I decided to put out some flyers and say, hey, we're going to have a blue out. I want every fan to wear blue. We'll wear our blue uniforms, and I want to have a blue out because, you know, why not? Oh, Wiccans jumped the gun. Almost got there, but got laid out by their fullback or extra running back. I don't know, but still third and four. We're going to try a run on third and four. Nobody's been able to run against us, so I don't know what they thought there. You know, this is our first time doing the blue out, so um, it looks like a lot of people are wearing purple instead of blue, but you know, we're still climbing the ranks, so next year it'll probably look a lot better. Franklin breaks off a tackle, gets a big gain, runs over, and man, fumbles the ball. And that's not how you want to start a game off. I don't know why he was yelling at him. That was definitely Franklin's fault. Oh, he gets away somehow. We had two men in the backfield and he gets away and gets a first and goal. Oh no, this is not, not a good start for our defense or offense. You still can't run it against us though. Don't even try that. There we go, you're not gonna run anywhere this time. Wide open. And for the first time all season, I think we didn't take the lead to begin with. We are now down about to be seven to nothing. Sit in the middle of the field, get wide open. What a busted, what a busted a move, guys. They're gonna blitz, which is not gonna be a good idea. Leaving Sean Hill wide open over the middle. Maybe this is a day where we're gonna throw the ball and not run the ball, because running the ball has not done anything for us. Beautiful into the end zone. What a connection between Mike Franklin and Jay Wilkerson. Another touchdown pass, another touchdown reception. This season is just amazing for these boys. And they're gonna keep trying to run it for some reason. Like I've, I can literally go up and tell them, do not run the ball against us. It doesn't work. So you might as well just keep passing it because that does work. Uh, they tried to run the option and it was not going to work because running against us does not work. And they run it again for some reason. Oh, Wilkerson fumbles. What is up with us in fumbling today? Our defense is right back out there in the same spot that they were when we fumbled it the first time. Let's see if they can get another stop. Our defense is just deflated right now, dude. This offense and special teams are just ruining everything. And we got, okay. As I say, we should have had a sack, but we didn't get it. And at the end of the first quarter, it is a tie game, even though it shouldn't be, but it is, unfortunately, 7-7. Seven to seven. And Kevin Malone gets back there and gets the sack on third and goal. It'll be fourth and goal. We hold him to a field goal. And it is good. Get out to Warfield here. What a catch. Another 25 yards. Khalil Warfield, welcome to the team. Don't know who you are. Right across the field, wide open is Wilkerson. Hopefully he doesn't fumble it this time. And there's Sean Hill into the end zone after breaking off a tackle. And we finally take the lead. It'll be 14 to 10 after the field goal. It's another run play and Bush blows it up. Our defense is just too fast for them to be trying to run on the outside. And Sims comes in on the blitz and gets a sack. There you go, defense. That's what happens when the offense actually gives you enough time 
and gives you a break. You swarm. And Malone gets there, gets the sack. Looked like it could have been a fumble, but it was an incomplete pass. But our defense is swarming once again. Oh, they left Clark wide open. Busted coverage. Wide open is Clark. Easy pitch and catch there. Oh, it's a quick screen and Bush is all over. And he's not going to get out of it. Another sack. That's three plus sacks for the day. Once again, our defense is unstoppable. Oh, can he get the outside? Can he outrun this guy right here? Oh, he makes a move, but he takes too long. Still a good game, though. Oh, Sean Hill is a monster, dude. This guy is so fun to play as. Fullback University, and into the end zone is Eric Peterson, our new fullback since Oliver has transitioned to a tight end. But we're going to take a 28 to 10 lead into the half, and uh, that's really good. Oh, he's just going to chuck it up there. And we're going to intercept it. We got our first turnover of the game to end the half. And at halftime, after this first quarter scare, the Utah Miners are now up big, 28 to 10. Let's finish this one out. Wide open is Burns, and he makes a diving catch. What a catch by Burns. Toss out to Sean Hill, way too fast and too powerful for anybody to catch up, and we get another touchdown. I think we're putting this game out of reach. Oh, Kevin Malone gets another sack. Man, this kid is huge, and he's fast, and you can't stop him. Nobody even tried to block him. That was, that was on me. That was on me. I was so worried about getting sad that I just threw it and I ruined Franklin's perfect game. Another sack, man. Our defensive line is the best in the country. Nope. Oh, Clay, that's a pick six if you catch it, man. How do you not catch that? Wide open. Come on, Jones, you're better at coverage than that. Oh, wow. I don't know how that happened, but uh, they get a touchdown. Um, he escaped a log jam. Franklin shoving off tackles left and right and finally gets sacked. It's going to be 4th and 14, but I'm going to go for it because I have faith in Franklin and Wilkerson. And that was a bad idea. All right. Well, uh, yep. And Kevin Malone gets another sack. Man, they just can't stop Malone today. Oh, there's no way that guy picked up that block like that. And a touchdown for Kansas State. And at the end of the third quarter, UTEP has made some stupid mistakes, and it is now a 35-24 game, but I still believe that this game is well in hand. And there's a big game for Sean Hill after they bottled him up a few times. And Sean Hill breaks free, makes a couple of guys miss. And he gets over 100 yards, or at 100 yards, actually. Oh, what a move by Hill. He's just making men look stupid out here. And Hill gets into the end zone this time, and we take back our big lead. Uh, with 3.30 left, I do think we can call this one done. And there's another sack for Kevin Malone. Can't get away, another sack. And another sack. After this game, we gotta see how many sacks we have because that's, that's a lot. Fourth and nine, and you run a draw play. I mean, that's okay. I'll take it. And the game is over. They had a little run and we had a little scare, but UTEP gets the win. Um, this is a pretty sloppy game, if I'm being honest. I'm not really proud of our offense, but I am proud of our defense because our defense did step up after our offense, you know, gave Kansas State so much prime opportunity to win. But uh, we are now 4-1 and 1-0 one and one and oh in the conference, so not too bad. Looking at our stats, we had a total of nine sacks today. 
four for Malone, two for Brown, one for Lewis, one for Bush, and one for Sims. That is how you win football games. And with that win, we do have one more upgrade available, so we are going to go ahead and upgrade to the Saban Factor. Gain 20% chance of an instant commit when you offer a scholarship, so let's go ahead and lock that up. And it does look like we do have a commit. Timmy Whitaker, 72 overall defensive tackle, has committed after a big game from our defensive line. And that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. We are going to be going into Austin, Texas to take on a top 10 ranked team once again. We are now number six, so we are knocking on the door of the college football playoffs. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Cookies.